What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we stopped Team Galactic and all their shenanigans inside Stark Mountain. In this episode, well, we're going to catch Heatran, but first, we need to go and visit the survival area and talk to Buck and do a few different things. I'm not sure why the game makes you do this. It seems kind of weird because... Literally, all you do in the survival area to get Heatran to appear is talk to a few NPCs. It's really kind of bizarre and sort of like a waste of time, but you know what? We gotta do it to get that Pokemon to appear, so let's just get it done and hopefully we can catch it rather quickly. Although, it is a legendary Pokemon, so I highly doubt that is going to happen. Anyways, to get to the survival area, all you really gotta do is actually surf along uh, Route 226. It's pretty close by. Um, this house right here, I figured I should mention this because it's kind of interesting. If you go inside, there's an old dude in there, and if you talk to him, he will upgrade your Pokedex. Now, the upgrade is really minuscule and kind of weird. What it does is it allows you to view the details for all the Pokemon in a bunch of different languages. It's really weird. I'm not sure why you would even want that. Ooh, we got a lagging tail. That's kind of cool, but I guess if, like... Maybe you're trying to practice learning a new language. You can sort of use Pokemon as a tool to help you. I don't know. Anyways, let's just uh, pop on another rappel real quick. We're actually really, really close to the survival area already. Like, it's really not that far from Stark Mountain. It's a shame that you can't just, like, fly there automatically. But no, we have to visit there first. And then I believe we can fly there. But I don't think you can fly back to Stark Mountain. So we will have to come back through this way just to get back up the mountain after we finish doing everything that we need to do in this area. But all that really doesn't matter because we finally made it to the survival area. Let's talk to good old Buck. Yo, if it isn't Matt. What's up, dude? This, it's my place. Drop in, hey? All right, looks pretty cool, I guess. Nice little pad you got going on here. Oh, it's not a pad, it's actually like a shop area. Oh, so you are your Buck's friend, yes. I've heard about you from both Buck and Wake. Well, my young friend, you're always welcome here from now on. This is a private club for only Sinnoh's gym leaders, or those vouched for by those self-same gym leaders. Cool! It's a place where the best seek to better themselves. Welcome to the battleground. Sweet! What should we talk about today? Ah, I know! Let me tell you about the volcano named Stark Mountain. That volcano dates to when Sinnoh was made by the melding of time and space. Fiery lava spilled out and pooled, and then it became a Pokemon. It's said the magma stone was used to keep that Pokemon pinned down. It kept the Pokemon from rampaging and the volcano from erupting. Well, that's neat. What do you have to say, Buck? My place is open only to the toughest trainers. I'm serious. You're supposed to be introduced by a gym leader, but you're special. Aw, thanks. Well, off to the Battle Frontier! I feel like seeing how far I can go up the tower. Alright, have fun with that, Buck. Anyways, yeah, you can actually talk to all the people in here, and um, if they're a gym leader, you can re-battle them, but... We're not really gonna do that right now. Instead, we're gonna head back to Stark Mountain and see if we can get Heatran. But first, I actually do need to go and bust too spooky out of the, uh... The box, that way we can use him to sort of, uh, put Heatran to sleep, so... Let's do that real quick. Um, who do I actually want to deposit? I think I'll deposit Maokai, because he's really not going to be uh, that helpful in the Heatran battle. So, come on, Too Spooky. Get back in my party, and let's get some things going, shall we? I think that's really all I need to do here. Um, let me go heal my team just in case, too. I'm pretty sure everyone's at full health, even Too Spooky. But just to make sure, let's heal them up real quick. And then we should be good to go. Actually, you know what? No, before we leave, um, I think it's a good idea if we stop into the Pokemart and buy a few more repels. I'm pretty sure that we have enough, like, Ultra Balls and stuff like that, but I do want to buy a few repels before we go any further, because I know we were getting low on that. So, let's see if this, uh, Pokemart actually has any. I'm pretty sure it will. There we go. All right, let's just, um, let's buy, like, I don't know, 30 of these bad boys, I guess. That should probably be enough for, you know, anything that we need to do in the future. Alright, so now that we got those, I guess we just have to make our way back to Stark Mountain. I'm just gonna cut until I get there, because there's no point in watching me walk all the way back. So I'll see you guys in a second. 
All right, so right through that gateway. That's where Heatran is going to be. Let's do this, man. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this battle. Um, you know what? Real quick, let me go and save the game and swap around my party. That way, everything is in, you know, the correct order and we can actually do this without screwing it up. So I'll see you guys in another quick second. All right, here we go. I've actually already had to reset like twice because uh, my previous two attempts, I got into the battle with him and then just flat out one hit KO'd him on the first turn by accident. So hopefully uh, we have a little more luck this time and we don't accidentally kill him. I'm pretty sure since he is fire steel, this uh, crunch is going to be not effective at all against him. Yeah, so there we go. Good. Um, I'm pretty sure Thunder Fang will do at least normal damage to him, so let's go for that. I just want to get him safely into the red, that way I can swap into two spooky, go for the hypnosis, and put this guy to sleep. You can keep doing metal sound all you want, dude. I really don't care. Alright, hopefully this will do enough damage to bring him into the red without killing him. Alright, perfect. That is like exactly where I want it to be. Alright, so let's swap into two spooky now. Hopefully we can get a hypnosis off rather quickly. And then we'll, we'll just start chucking the ultra balls at this guy. I am a little worried that a uh, lava plume will sort of wreck my face. It's not doing too much damage right now, but um, Heatran, what it likes to do is use metal sound and stuff like that to lower your defense and then just completely destroy you with um, lava plume and crunch. And crunch is actually going to be super effective against two spooky, so I've got to be careful there. And finally our hypnosis lands, thank goodness, because honestly if it didn't we probably would have died on the next turn. Um, just in case he wakes up, I'm actually going to go and heal because I do not trust the RNG of hypnosis to make him sleep for like more than one turn. I never do, because honestly when you think like, oh maybe I'll get like a five turn sleep, it's always going to be like a one turn sleep. You can always count on the RNG in Pokemon to screw you over, man. Alright, hopefully he stays asleep. Alright, see, that's what I mean. Like, really? A one turn sleep? Like, what kind of use is that anyways? And we got burned. Fantastic. This is not going well. Please work. Thank goodness. Alright, sleep for more than one turn, please. That way I can heal myself. And uh, then just start, like, chucking Pokeballs at you. I don't even know if I want to heal myself. I probably should, though. Yeah, you know, I think I'll go and do that, just to make sure that, um, you know, when he does wake up, I can survive at least one hit, and, um, then use hypnosis again, and oh crap, I used the full heal, I meant to actually use full restore, I am an idiot, dude, that was, that was a waste of time, well, alright, you know what, screw it, I don't even care anymore, if two spooky dies, I'll just revive him, let's just start checking out some ultra balls and hope for the best, I guess, I highly doubt that we're gonna catch him in, like, the first three ultra balls anyway so whatever yeah that wasn't even close man not even close thank goodness he is still asleep so that's good for us let's try a pokeball one more time and if this doesn't work i guess i'll just cut until you know we actually catch this guy nope all right well i guess i will see you guys in a quick second all right this battle has literally gone on for freaking ever, so I really hope this timer ball actually works. Come on. Oh my gosh, it actually did work. <laughs> I did not actually expect that to work at all. Like, I've used timer balls in the other, like, legendary captures, but they never work. They always, like, break free at, like, the last moment, so that was kind of unexpected. Usually only, like, ultra balls work, and I've been using dust balls, too, like some of you guys suggested in the comments, but... For whatever reason, I have more luck with Ultra Balls, I guess. Anyways, um, can I use an escape rope to get out of here? I would, would love to be able to do that. Do I have any? I'm pretty sure, like, I bought a ton of them. Uh, I must have passed them already, then. I am dumb. This is what I got for not rating every single item, like, in the order that they appear. Oh, there they are. Alright, cool. Let's... Oh, come on, really? Uh, maybe it's just this room. I don't know. They're not really going to make me walk all the way back, right? Especially with all, like, these rocks here and stuff like that. You know, no, screw this. I'm going to try it again because I'm pretty sure it's going to work. It's got to work. There we go. All right, so it's only that room for whatever reason you can't use an escape rope. And that's kind of weird, but all right, we're gone. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. There is nothing else that I want to do. 
here in the Stark Mountain area. So let's take Lofty, and we're actually going to fly all the way back down to San Gem Town. Not because we want to visit Professor Rowan or anything like that. We actually want to make our way over to the Pal Park and talk to Professor Oak. That way we can sort of start our journey into catching the next three legendary Pokemon. But first, of course, let's heal up our team since everyone is kind of low. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother getting Maokai out of the box since we really don't need him right now. Plus, we're pretty much just going to immediately go into catching three more legendary Pokemon. So, I guess we can leave uh, Too Spooky in the party for now and we'll swap out later if we actually need Maokai. Anyways, let's make our way over to Pal Park. It's actually pretty close by. All we gotta do is surf along, um, Route 219. It's a pretty short journey. Shouldn't take us too long. And at least, um, it will set up for catching the next three Pokemon, or legendary Pokemon, like I said. We're not actually going to catch them in this episode, because that would just be, like, insane. But, um, this will sort of get some of the prep work out of the way. And then, you know, over the course of the next few episodes, or... Maybe we'll even montage it in the next episode and just capture all three of them at once. I think that might be the better course of action. But yeah, like, this is just, like, all for the setup. And it really doesn't take too long, so I don't mind doing it at the tail end of catching Heatran. Because that took freaking forever, man. This, at least this is kind of relaxing. Like, Heatran, that was just stressful and it took way too long. Unfortunately, we do have to battle this guy, so... Let's get this battle over with, and I guess I will see you guys after. That trainer had one level 35 Pokemon. That was not even worth my time to battle. Anyways, here's Professor Oak. What's up, dude? Ah, oh, Matt. This is it. This is Pal Park. Cool. Pokemon from around the country can be brought here. In other words, Pokemon from places like Kanto and Hoenn. This place also happens to be where you compete to see how quickly... You can catch those Pokemon. Awesome, sounds fun actually. It's good to see you've come to join us for a visit. Let me make a gift of this trainer counter app for your Poketch. Aw, thanks dude. Now we got the trainer counter app. Nice. The trainer counter app tracks the Pokemon radar's rankings. I plan to be in Eterna City for some time. Being here, I should make the best of my time studying the Pokemon of the Sinnoh region. All right, well, have fun then, I suppose. You know that old saying, where there's Pokemon, you'll find Oak? Well, it's actually kind of true. So, what do you say we uh, take Lofty and make our way over to Eterna City? Because if we find Oak there, that'll actually trigger, like, the event for the next three legendary Pokemon to appear. But you know what? I think... This is a good place to end off the video, so if you enjoyed this part of like rating, would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.